Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the talking shed. And we've had a lot of guys that want to know if we can put a, a mole knife or a shank on these units. And we wanted to answer that question. So if you look here on these two units, um, we have got a mole knife uh, right here below uh, basically where uh, the, the two shark tooth wheels go. Uh, these arms are an addition. Uh, you can take these arms and slide them in and out to create a wider or narrower berm. Um, so these are adjustable. And then uh, you can slide almost any knife in here that you want. Now, some things to keep in mind, this is not a rock trip or a, a spring load. Uh, this thing, uh, it's not designed for rocks. If you've got ro a lot of rocks, um, I would not probably get real excited about the mole knife. Um, I think down the road we can have that option, but today this mole knife is rigidly mounted to this frame, which is then held on with this uh, airbag down pressure. But like here where we're at here in uh, Western Ohio, uh, we have some rocks, but we ran it quite a bit and didn't really have any issues. But I think this thing has got a lot of potential, whether you're wanting to uh, fracture really deep or you want to add dry fertilizer in a tight band to fit what you're doing on your operation. Let's come around here. On this one, we took this arm off so that we could get a better visual of this mole knife. So um, if you look over here, this one does not have a mole knife. It just has the shark tooth wheels and uh, standard cab control. Over here, in place of the shark tooth wheels, we can put either these ripple blades or the shark tooth blades. But you can see the holes here where they're adjustable in and out. That can create a wider or narrower berm and it can also create a taller or a shorter berm. But this mole knife, uh, I'll play some video of this thing running in the field, but man, is it amazing how we can go deeper if you want. We can fracture the soil. We can place liquid dry or anhydrous deeper. And you can put any kind of knife on here you want. A taller knife, a shorter knife, a wider one. Um, I think this just blows this unit uh, to a whole nother level. Not only, as you saw in our other video, can we make awesome strips in the fall, but now it's a shank machine that can fracture and place fertilizer deep. So we've got our options. It's no longer just a spring unit. And we talked about that in our last video. Can this thing be spring and fall? And uh, what we saw out in the field with this knife addition, it's a spring and fall strip till unit. And we're real excited about what these cab controls can do. We've got full control of every setting, basket, down pressure, row cleaner, true depth, but now, we can fracture deep or place fertilizer. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can take it off, move back to just a spring till side or, or uh, just run it like that in the fall. But now the options truly are endless. Mole knife or just colder unit. So that's the cab control strip till unit available from Fennig Equipment. And we have got several of these units in stock today. So if you're interested in what you're seeing here, Give Fennig Equipment a call and we can talk more about strip till. Thank you for tuning in.